first time on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with your friends. I am currently in Mombasa at a place called Mamangina Drive and I'm here to try their street food. Guys, how do I look? How do I look? Okay guys, so you're coming along with me. I'm not here alone. I'll introduce my friend to you soon. And so let's go right into the video. Guys, let's take a moment to appreciate this beautiful view. really has like an amazing view so people can come here sit around eat buy some snacks say hello this is Hi. carolina's brother <laughs> hello carol let me introduce let me officially introduce you to this is carolina you can check out her youtube channel i'll share her details check out my in youtube the... channel subscribe to my channel please get me monetized guys from ghana <laughs> so guys so I asked her why is it that there are a lot of buildings painted white and blue and she says it represents the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is just ahead. Um, yeah. The Indian Ocean is just behind this building. It's blue with white highlights. So yeah, let's start with our street food tour here in Mombasa. I tried Nairobi. Did you guys enjoy it? If you did, let me know in the comment section and so yeah. This place is full of street food from here to this side and so we are going to be trying them. Let's go. This is the fresh one. This is my first time trying cassava, cassava um, chip. How, how much is one? 50 bucks. This one is for 50 bucks. It's for you to try. Oh, that's chili. Yeah. yeah, chili powder. Chili powder. Yeah, salt. A bit of salt. Lemon. Lemon. Wow. So, guys, as you can see, there's chili, there's salt, and there's lemon. Mm, yummy. Stop at the ginger. What about that? Mm. The chili gives you some some spice and a lemon. Yeah. So the chips is 50. I'm giving him 100, so he has to give me a change of 50 50 Kenyan shillings. Yeah. Is this a local delicacy here? Yeah. People love cassava chips. Have you had them in your in No, Canada? no. We usually have like plantain chips, cocoa, oh. uh, cocoa yam chips. Mm -hmm. For us to have this, we are also going to try some corn, some sweet potato, all of that. It's very nice. It's amazing with the view. This turn around the trip. So we are currently about to buy some sweet potatoes with some maize. What does he say? Sweet potato. Mm -hmm. This is maize. A in encourage A in an A in this is starch. Yeah. So how much is that one sweet potato? One sweet potato this one calls for hundred mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, cut for us, you put chili and lemon still. No problem. Cut for us. These are the challenges you face. So guys, because we are going to be buying a lot of street food, we can't be buying a lot. We are going to be eating it. Yeah, big belt. Little, hey, I'm already belching. <laughs> You're going to be eating because of the yeah. mess. Yes, and the and lemon. Yeah. So we're stealing it. We've got some um, madap also there. Yeah, okay, we'll have that. Uh, you... Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah. 
it helps purify the kidneys. What? Oh. Uh, the coconut? The, yeah, the coconut. Oh, okay. So, it also helps in preventing yellow fever. Really? Yeah, exactly. So you are not here just to eat. you are not just eating food. No, this is not junk food. Ah, yeah, it's healthy. Uh, By the way, that's the good thing about the street food. Healthy and what really people can take. The street food here is most of it is healthy. We've had uh, cassava crisps instead of potatoes. Natural. Now we're having sweet potatoes, roasted, not fried. Uh, yeah. Let me try it. Let, let him put the lemon. With a beautiful view, it's amazing. Hmm. This will go well with your beverage. Yeah, if you're feeling thirsty, you can take something. Then drink there. Hmm. So, I usually eat potatoes fried with fish, sausage with um, pepper or shito, locally called shito, but this is different, they just eat it raw with a sprinkle of um, chili pepper um, and then lemon I like the fact that they add almost everything, they add lemon to almost every street so this also costs 100 Kenyan shillings which is about 5 Ghana cities yeah, big boss oh, thank you that a good change huh? I was paying this for that a good change yeah? Uh, the 50 bucks Oh, oh, it is rather 50. We just bought one, so it's 50. You know what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Carolina is telling me that because of my accent, that's why they are like overcharging us. On a normal day, that's like 50, 50 yeah. Yeah, they But even, like, that's like double, double the money. Yeah. Hey. And they've even charged us for recording, and he didn't tell us before. He told us now. But it's okay. It's okay. I it's mean, life. yeah, at least they get to experience the. The, you get to experience through my lens. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Just so you can begin it for you. How much is it? How much is one? Per plate. Per plate is 200. Oh, per plate. One, 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 uh, one, uh, one plate more just in one part here. Plate more just in how much? What is this uh, made of? Mishaki is just meat which is uh, marinated and coated with spices. A lot of spices, paprika, turmeric, black pepper, all those spices. And then it's just basically put on a stick and yeah. Barbecue. How are you? You're fine? Hey. What's it for your plate one thing? Hmm? This this is katlesi. Katlesi is uh, potatoes. Uh, this is coated with eggs and then inside there's minced meat. Minced meat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so we are going to be trying our meal. Uh, uh, Guys, you need an African stomach to be tasting different kinds of food. Now, this is an African food. <laughs> it's spicy. 
How do we eat this? Do we eat it with the, with the pepper? Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is nice when you put it in your mouth, but it has this sour taste at the back. So you saw me do this. Ugh. It's yeah, it's nice be before, but at the back it's like this is not something I'm really enjoying though. I think maybe they didn't make it nice. Let me taste it. But like there's vinegar. You're saying on the skin? I don't know. Inside. Oh, that's how it tastes. <clears throat> or maybe you tasted um, what is it called? A lemon seed, maybe. Well, I don't mine know. is okay. <laughs> So if you guys are a fan of this, it's called Katlesi. Katlesi. <laughs> it has a name like um, a Hebrew name, Katlesi. So what we got was 50 shillings. He's giving us 150. So he's giving us change. Most welcome. The last thing I'm going to be trying is coconut. How is it called here? Madafu. Madafu. Cheers, guys. You can't come to the coastal region and not drink coconut. Coconut is very common in almost every coastal part of Africa. Cheers. <laughs> Refreshing. So nice. This, yeah, this is the best way to end your street food tour. Madam. Madam. No, me not here. So I have realized that here they have they don't really have please cut it for me. Or you guys don't remove the inside. You remove, right? Uh-huh. I've realized here they are very limited um street food. And so I mean we West Africans have a lot of variety from chips to this to that. So this is different from Ghana. Ghana they have to cut like the whole coconut. But look at look at what he did. So he has given me a spoon and I can eat the I can eat everything. Very nice. Very very nice. is fascinating please what is this this is the heart of the coconut tree. this is from the coconut it's the heart of the coconut tree. It's really inner, it's the inner core of the coconut tree. and people eat it yeah most of Asians they come here and eat coconut part of the coconut okay can I have a slice let's just taste it you want to eat it yeah okay you give him a hand with extra okay so now it's good to security ulcers pressure the high blood pressure okay yeah. so cut just a little for me no, 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 it's too big. Just a slice. It's too much. It's too much. It's, it's too big. It's okay. Yeah. So you eat it just like that, right? That's you're buying also that. How much? How much is it? One hundred. That's nice. You have to taste it. Hmm. <laughs> so. It tastes like a vegetable. It's not bad at all. Yeah. To be honest, this is different. Eating the heart of the coconut tree itself. But this is like the coconut tree itself itself. Yeah. I didn't like it. I like it. But it looks like a vegetable that can be fried. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if you like it. I did have like limited. So so far, this brings us to the end of this video. And say thank you to Carolina for bringing me here, showing me Karibu some love. Karibu sana, Karibu Kenya, Karibu Mombasa. Karibu sana. Karibu means you're welcome. Then you say sao. Oh, means 
Thank you, right? No. <laughs> Sawa is okay. Okay. Sawa is asante. Okay. Asante. asante. Oh, yeah, yeah. Asante. Asante. You know there's a tribe in, in um, this thing called Asante. Asante. Yeah, but there, yeah. I think there's a tribe called that. Oh, okay. I, I see. So this brings us to the end of this video. Until next time, coming from Mombasa, Karibu. I love you so much. You're my favorite person. Thank you so much for What's enjoying this point? episode. So the day finally came to an end. We couldn't try other street food. But let me know in the comment section which other street food have you had in Mombasa? What is the street food made of? And how does it taste like? Let me know in the comment section.